Hello and welcome to today's video. So we're out on a walk today in Germany and it's freezing. It's like below zero. So it's pretty cold. Might have to swap my hands a couple of times. Don't have any gloves. But today I want to come to you with two mindset shifts and it's a uh, two for Tuesday. So you get two. You don't just get one. And one of these is going to apply to you probably if you're seeing this video. So the first healing mindset shift is no one's going to do it for you. No one is coming to save you. Even if you pay for and hire the best help in the whole world, it's still your job. It's still your responsibility. I learned this the hard way when I was trying to let the, the doctors dictate my healing path. And I was following a GAPS diet and they said they wanted to test me for gluten intolerance. And the, the only way that they could do that would be if I just start eating gluten again. So I started eating gluten, three or four days later, severely constipated, bloody stools. And I just thought about the doctor that was, well, ass assumably spending a nice weekend at home, like enjoying time with his family. And I'm sitting here following his advice, bleeding out of my rectum, in despair, feeling like I'm gonna die, you know? You know, if you've ever had blood in your stool, you know what it's like, it's terrifying. It feels like, feels like death, feels like death is close. So that was really scary. And that taught me a lesson, like it's my responsibility. Doctor gets to go home on the weekend, I don't, I have to go home and I have to deal with all of my symptoms, they're, they're still there. I have to, I have to face them. So from that point I stopped doing what people were telling me and started doing what I thought was the right thing. And that's healing. The thing is, healing comes from within you. Healing doesn't come from whoever you work with, whether it's whether it's a doctor, whether it's me, whether it's an alternative practitioner, a naturopath, it always comes from within you. And a good practitioner will tell you that. If you ever, if, if someone's telling you they're gonna heal you, run away. You wanna find someone that's gonna help you cultivate the healing energy within inside yourself. It's really important that you understand what you're doing. It's really important that you understand how what you're doing for healing works and, and what the point of it of it is you get a nice taste of the the german language there <laughs> nice country road <laughs> so you it, it's your responsibility even if you work with the best person on the whole planet it's still your responsibility and the best person on the planet is going to try and help you figure out how to heal yourself that's that's a really good green flag for somebody that you're working with so take full responsibility because the fact is even if you don't want it to be even if you don't like it even if you feel like you don't have it in you to take responsibility for the situation the fact is it is your responsibility and all you're doing is pretending that it's not and that's you're operating from the shadow you're operating from from a place of a victim mentality and that's not healing energy healing energy is not uh, dismissive or not it's, it's an inclusive energy it's bringing it towards you so bring it towards you see that it's your responsibility and then if you feel panicked if you feel overwhelmed if you feel terrified good because now you realize what's on the line which is your life it's your health and you're the only one that can change it you're the only one that can make it make it different it it, it starts and ends with you so that's a bit of a bit of a harsh slap maybe very harsh slap for me when I learned it, but it's the start of healing, so you, you need to hear that. Second mindset shift for you, and I'm gonna swap hands because my right hand has gone numb. <laughs> so the so the, the second mindset shift for you today has eluded me, it has, <laughs> it has left my brain. So <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> so <laughs> so let's let's change that. So the second the second healing mindset shift is expect the unexpected and roll with it. It's exactly what I'm doing now. So I just completely lost my train of thought. I had a second point and it's just gone. And I could get panicked, I can get flustered, I could just end the video. Instead, just be creative, you know? Go with it. A, a huge part of healing isn't I know what to do. That's where it starts, it's I know what to do. But healing, and then as it moves into the other aspects of your life, like doing things with your life that you wanna do, when you're growing out of your comfort zone or of the zone that you know, it's, 
It's not the belief that you know what you're doing. It's the belief that I know I can figure it out. And I can, I don't have to know exactly what the next step is, but I know that I have it within me to figure it out when I get to that next step. This is kind of a bit similar to the, uh, to the hermit card in, uh, in, in tarot. So the hermit card is depicted as this, this man by himself walking with a lantern that illuminates the next single step in front of him. And he doesn't know what the second step is. He doesn't know what the third step is. He doesn't know what the fourth step is. He just knows what the next step is. And he can take that next step, let's say confidently, but also cautiously, and knows that he has it within himself to figure out the next step when he gets to it. So you have to develop or cultivate this resilience, this. Maybe I don't know right now, but I know I can figure it out. I'm just trying to make sure I don't get run over by a bike. And there's a lot of ice on the floor here. I'll show you this, this looks very dangerous. I haven't been in a icy country for a while. Very, very slippery. So, take full responsibility, even if it feels scary, even if you don't really feel like you know what you're doing, the fact is it is your responsibility to take. And if you don't take it, you're just, you're just lying to yourself, you're just pretending. So, take it. And, Take the next step, whatever that looks like, even if you don't know where you're going, even if you don't know step two, step three, step four. Take step one, like your life depends on it, because it does. Your life depends on it. And it's not just a life or death situation. Uh, honestly, if you've been as ill as I have been, life or death is kind of irrelevant, because when you're so ill, you don't really care about dying, you actually kind of want it to happen, because you don't have anything to live for. Your life is just a miserable existence but your quality of life is what is important. So your situation right now might not be a, a life or death from a perspective of if I don't make the right decision, I'm gonna die. But I think it's more serious than that. It's more severe than that. And that is if you don't act and if you don't take responsibility and you don't make the right decisions, you're destined to a life with a poor quality of life, a life of, of pain, a life of discomfort, a life of symptoms, a life that you didn't really get to live. It breaks my heart when I hear of people that have had chronic diseases for like 30 or 40 years and they're still living with them and they're, 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 they're unsolved. And it's affected the way that they live their life and it's affected the things that they've done with their life in a negative way. And that will be you if you don't take that responsibility and try and take that next step whatever it is and I can't I can't tell you what that next step is I don't I don't know you I don't know anything about your situation well not yet anyway you could always send me a message and I could help you figure that out but you have to take the next step like your life depends on it because it's not just your life that depends on it it's your quality of life which if you ask me as someone that basically laid in bed wishing that they could die for nearly a year your quality of life is so much more important than your life. So if your quality of life sucks, it's your responsibility to do something about it. So there are your two mindset shifts today. Take responsibility and be adaptable. Figure it out as you go, because no one really knows what they're doing. I've been doing, I've been doing healing for like six, seven, eight, maybe even 10 years now. And I'm still clueless. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just think I'm just winging it. I'm 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 in that energy of I don't know what I'm doing, but I know I can figure it out. And I take step one. I don't know what step two is. I don't know what step three is. I don't know what step four is. But by the time I reach step one, the next step ahead of me reveals itself, and it will reveal itself to you too. So embody those energies, and you will find healing. That's everything for me today. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye.